What are you doing? I mean, seriously, what are you doing with the orange? You're, you're really about to eat this. You're really about to eat annoying orange. I mean, I would say half of your viewers who watch this probably don't even know who annoying orange is. And the other half are probably shorts viewers that are looking at your long form for the first time. And they're like, this is pretty cool. But then you have your long form viewers who are like, what are you doing? I mean, I, I get it. You're trying to be funny. But you just got to give the people what they want. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, man. <sighs> Whatever. We're just going to give you what you want. Hey, miners. We're back in my dungeon, and I need to address that intro. That was for me because this whole setup was super annoying. So I needed something to just release the stress. So if you didn't like that intro, comment below why you hated it. But if you did like it and thought that it was something different and sort of drew you into the video, also comment that because I just like to do weird stuff like that. But anyway, isn't that the point of these videos is so that you don't have to deal with the stress that I have to deal with. I come up with these sort of how to's and show you how stuff works. So it's just, you get one of these things and it's just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You're off to mining Verus. So how about we just hop onto the computer over there and start mining Verus. All right, so this should be another one of those extremely easy setups, at least for you. For me, once I finished finally setting this up and figuring everything out, I was so ecstatic. But anywho, let's get started. And the first thing you need to do is you have to go to this link that I believe I've provided in the description which takes you to basically a um, fork version of the CC miner. And um, it's basically forked and edited specifically, I believe, for Varus, but I'm sure you could use it for something else. But it gives you this full procedure here. There's really nothing um, that I added except for like one thing that they sort of forgot in this procedure that I'll get to later. But um, you just follow this and you're pretty good to go. Um, one way to do this, uh, if you don't um, have any video output for your uh, Orange Pi, is you can figure out the IP, and there's some videos on YouTube to help you do that. Um, and then you can download PuTTY, which is what I use, and then once you get that local IP, then you can just put that in, and this is, I believe, mine. Um, and then you can just SSH in, so for Orange Pi, um, the login is Orange Pi, and then you know, your password. Um, and then once you're logged in, you can see it here. Uh, system loads at 75%, which makes sense because currently um, I'm using six of the eight cores on this um, Pi instance here. And temperatures are okay. They're not super hot. They're not super cool either. Um, but yeah, you can just log in here and then um, from um, Putty, and that is your SSH in, you can just follow these, copy and paste them over, and be good to go. So the first step is to install the dependencies. I'm not going to do that again. This here, actually, um, you're going to want to skip this because this is just for GPU minor um, compilation. Um, so yeah, just skip that. And this next step here, pretty important. So this is where you're getting the CC minor, the forked version of it, and the ARM specific ARM branch of it for your orange Pi. So you want to copy that and, um, basically clone it over from GitHub. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in mine. So you'll see it right there. It's just called CC minor. So let's, um, CD in there, let's see the files, and then you can see that, you know, it has a little bit more here because I built it, so you might not have all of this. You'll have to build um, build this miner right there, which you'll see the little Varus file as well. Um, and once you're finished building, you're good to go. You're ready to mine. I mean, it's extremely, extremely, extremely easy. Um, one of the things I do want to highlight is, uh, one thing that you'll notice as well, looking into other videos, is that they'll recommend uh, Hellminer or Hellsminer. Um, you can't use that. Uh, it 
doesn't work for, for ARM. I think that Hell Miner is working on something for, for ARM devices, but right now, this is literally your only workaround if you want to use, um, you know, Orange Pi, Raspberry Pi, any sort of Pi or ARM device in mind, Varus, this is what you're going to have to use. Um, and then the final step here is you're going to want to um, basically copy this over and not copy it directly. You're going to want to make some changes. And this is where um, I have my little input uh, is after, um, you know, you edit this address here, obviously, to your own address, then you're also going to want to set it to whatever pool you want to use. You can use what pool, you can use Varus.o, uh, you can use whatever pool that you want to use that works for Varus. You can also name your miner, whatever, after this dot. But then after all of this, you're going to want to put a dash T for threads and then you're going to want to put the number of threads that you're hoping to use. Now, for the orange pie, it is single thread per, per uh, the single thread per core. And um, essentially, you're going to want to use probably not all of the threads, or then like your device or your pie will be basically not usable. So I would recommend maybe seven of the eight, even six like I'm doing for mine, and set those uh, threads up. Because if you don't, it will just, by default, um, only use one thread, and that is not enough. Uh, you can, you're not going to get enough uh, hash from just using one, one thread. So make sure, again, um, I should have it on the screen, that you are, um, at the end of this, doing a space, then a dash T, another space, and then the number of threads that you're hoping to use. Other than that, and you know, I made a couple of mistakes in this, but I'm not going to edit it. Uh, it's just a couple, you know, me stuttering and stuff like that. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. So um, I hope you like this. And yeah, let's hop back into the other stuff. Okay, pause. Before we hop into the other stuff, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention that can help you optimize your CPU mining for your Orange Pi. So there's this other site here that I found is the Affinity Setting Tool. Um, I think that this is super helpful. I'm not going to go into what exactly you're doing here. You can do your own research for it. Even myself, I have to learn a little bit more about CPU Affinity um, and the priority parameters. But um, I think that this is a great tool um, just in general because you can set how many cores. So like let's say, for example, Orange Pi. You have eight cores. You can set, you know, how how much of that core you're going to be actually using, and then it gives you a warning to not use real time, obviously, because then you'll be using a, all of that power. So you know, you can set like high or above normal, and let's just do like above normal, and then let's say we only want to use uh, six cores calculate it and it does all of that for you. Um, it sets the priority, it sets the affinity number, and then all you have to do is just this right here, this argument should work for CC minor. I did check already and then you, again you just put this at the end of this here and you're good to go. You can play around with that. You can let me know um, what you found out in the comments. If you are um, already familiar with this, um, you can also put that in the comments and just explain it to me because um, I don't know. But I do know that this is probably a valuable tool for you if you want to optimize your uh, CPU mining for bears. All right, now let's hop into it. You are a real one. You sat through all of that video, all of my boring talking, trying to show you how to mine Varus on Orange Pi when you could have just went right to the description and ignored my whole video. I actually appreciate that. And that leads me to the next thing, the B-score. So I have a B-score right up over here. I think this thing is actually pretty easy to set up. Um, really the issue is me. I just didn't know what I was doing. I also um, didn't fully realize that ARM is 
total different animal than just any other sort of image that you're trying to work with. But now I know, and now you know. So the setup was extremely easy. When it comes to ROI, I don't know. Um, you're not really getting a lot of errors for this, but it is also super efficient. So you have to take that into account as well. Anyway, I really hope that you like this video. Obviously, I want you to comment below and really, really, you could help me out if you subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, peace.